Hello everyone, this is my activity two, my speculative cell branding um, presentation, present by Horan Lee uh, Lucas. And with the part one research, I have got my persona, and uh, uh, it's told me about the handmade person like me, and uh, Sydney, as I want to uh, move. Uh, where I want to move in uh, in the future uh, also the fishing I love fishing and uh, also my the uh, company name it's uh, Lucas architecture but it's a uh, architecture design studio or architecture design company and I'm a friendly courageous shy and independent person I enjoy designing small object which just uh, fit with my handmade uh, with uh, handmade, um, the the way I handmade th made things by on my own hand. I love eat uh, sweets like gummies, and also I love I love sweet singing. Uh, in my free times and the research, uh, for the logo, uh, this all logo design uh res designed by other companies already exist. But I found this uh, very creative and uh, moreover, it's uh, like uh, all pictorial logo. And some of it are uh, very interesting because they don't, don't just make the logo become a pictorial. They print some um, fonts on it and it may become, they, they, they make the fonts become also the word mark. And uh, it's just not a word mark, but also word mark with the uh, uh, pictorial logo style, which is amazing to me, and it's uh, inspired me a lot for my own architecture designing company logo. For this one, the fonts, um, is they are all interesting and it's uh, very colorful for me to choose. And uh, the more I like it, the belong one, the, the which is because um, the belong uh, it's a more uh, formal. Uh, I think my architecture design studio or company should be a formal cleaning and uh, minimalism style uh, um, scape. So I need to choose the belong and. Uh, uh, it's gonna inspire me to use a uh, simple office style fonts when I design my companies later. Uh, for the research imagery relative, I choose some uh, uh, pencil box, pencil, skin care, paper, mask, clothes, and also the ruler. It's uh, all relative to my uh, uh, architecture design studio. Mm, for example, like uh, the pencil, and the rulers, papers, these three things they need to use all the times when they draw in sketching their ideas when they come up. And for the closing, um, it's like it gives you a warm, uh, warm place for your own when you study, like spending night time. Also, with the skin here, I need to explain that because. It's a uh, sound is uh, strange, but I think it's very make it, it's gonna make sense because people who work in the design studio they usually spend night time to design their own stuff and finish the project, also serve for the customer. So they really working hard and they maybe have some uh, sleeping problems and they may cause some. Uh, uh, illness uh, appear on their face, so they may need some good skin care to prevent that. Also, the mask is because during this uh, uh, pandemic time, and it's uh, not that common, but it uh, makes sense. And it's uh, usually, and I love the black color. The ladies wearing that uh, also fit my colors. Uh, that I want to use in my own style, the architecture company style. And that's a common imagery, just like some business card, coffee cups, also with a tea box uh, on the right. Also with uh, some uh, small picture here, I got some standard uh, stand brochures and also the business card is very uh, inspire me. And but it's a common one, so 
maybe I should com uh, combine these two things. <coughs> and for the colors research, I found it's a color panel when I decide how to do it. Like for m and they use the white, black, dark brown, light brown to uh, illustrate the things like they just uh, like a uh, chocolate candy company. So they will be uh, very great when people saw these uh, pictures and logo, they think, oh, it's uh, like a coffee or maybe it's just a chocolate company. It's a candy company it's because it's more, more like a word mark and it's a very cultural style uh, to make people feel like uh, sleepy or maybe just feel like uh, comfortable or some uh, free time, the free, the, the some, uh, yeah, something like that. And for the stylescape, uh, why should this? Because it's uh, have some formal, uh, uh, some uh, formal uh, way to express the self branding items, but also with some uh, positive things, uh, like uh, like the colorful font and with a uh, uh, very creative pictorial uh, word. Uh, pictorial logo here the architect and it's uh, it's like lots of book to uh, build up a very large uh, architecture I mean the very large building it's very uh, inspirable and it's creative but meaningful also <coughs> also for the analysis and critic uh, so it's more like I choose these pictures, meaning because this picture uh, will inspire me. And it's uh, uh, when I choose and when I find it, I actually saw not just the 50 image, but more like uh, 50 or maybe 30 at least. So it just inspire me. And when I do my own job, uh, that will work. And that uh, will be a great help for the part to concept design. This is all my concept sketches. The way uh, the, the the one I uh, l would love the best would be the top right here, the Lucas architecture uh, with some uh, small buildings. It's very minimalism and simple sh uh, shape, but it's quite clear to and follow the logical order to make people understand that this is an uh, architecture company because it's a cityscape with a little tree uh, down to the right. And this is my refined sky to sketch. Um, I use the symmetry uh, in the second sketch, uh, but it's a, a bit over, uh, a bit over, uh, it's a do over a little bit um, because it's not, uh, that's logical so I decided but it's very creative so I would like to use the second one to combine with the first one and also for the first one I designed a new tall building and I would also uh, make some adjustment uh, later to make it feel like more uh, creative and when I uh, talk to my tutor about this. Uh, my tutor also suggests me I combine these two and also with my friend to say they said uh, She said it's uh, okay and she's uh, she said it's a uh, creative and I uh, like it's a uh, very magical when I combine the second and the first one For the mind, mind map brainstorm uh, just uh, some uh, buildings and I start to think about these thick things uh, and and uh, architecture design for the refined man ma mind map. Uh, I would love to put some personal information: my name, number, email, name of company, website. It's a uh, fake, but uh, uh, it's worth it to put it down to the thing that I want. And on the right is a refined mind map. It's more logical and it's easy to see. For this uh, concept sketches, um, it's uh, just the two things. One is the mugs on the right, and the two the, the these two the with the straw. Uh, the the bottle is the cosmetic bottles, which can contain their skincare stuff, 
um, to prevent some illness on appear on their skin and there is the second the right one the mugs it can contain some hot milk hot water or uh, just the water container milk container or some coffee container uh, for their use but I when I choose the final one when I refine the sketch um, I choose the mugs and also um, because it's a uh, I need to put my pictorial logo and personal information onto it I need to I decided to put it all down to close close to the bottom of this mug because it's more compatible and make you not focus on the logos but more like a mug itself otherwise you may gonna break it uh, yeah for the part three the design development and it's just all process happened in the Adobe Illustrator when I design uh, when I uh, tracing my uh, development uh, for my pictorial logo the final one <coughs> I'm basically just using the pen tool to tracing it and it's it's have a lot of street lines but with the architecture name here like uh, Lucas architecture I only use uh, one symmetry the design elements to design my own logo because it's more clear and make people understand it better yes and just uh, also I added some small black line here to make it feel like the shadow of night uh, caused by the moonlight uh, because like uh, I would like to uh, like uh, advertising when people saw this uh, logo like they think they uh, when whether it's uh, no matter it's a day daytime or nighttime we work very hard just to because we want to uh, serve you and to design the best designing solution for your home because we design architecture is not the small stuff and uh, for the mug development uh, it's a two step uh, basically and the first step gonna use the clone stamp tool to uh, uh, just to clear all the stuff before happening in this mugs and the second I put uh, I mean the place embedded in my uh, onto the mugs with my uh, 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 pictorial logo I designed before and just to use a quick selection tool to uh, just uh, clean the other white stuff but I keep a little bit to make it more uh, interesting and also you can see here down to the um, this cup the, this mugs um, with my personal information I designed before uh, to the part for final designs for this logo is more like a floating onto the ground also with the trees uh, down to the right because I want to make a minimalism and the office uh, style which is mean format more format and simple make people easy to understand but I don't want you to do it bored it's too bored when I think it's uh, with two lines I just decided to make it floating onto the ground which is great and I also did it in my final uh, mugs development you will see about that uh, yeah here for the speculative design mugs it's all floating onto the ground and with my information down here and it's look quite creative for the free reflection I think it's worth it to do it um, as a person who don't really have a company like a design company or other any company and also I don't even have a job for the design and I don't even have some social experience and the design experience before I didn't work on it but for this I like uh, just to study uh, to have my own company it's uh, the way I inspire me and inspire myself and it just I think it's quite helpful for my uh, future design and I, I'm like I'm already in the company and that's there uh, I standing there and just think like uh, how my company's name is and I would like to open up a business uh, it's uh, very interesting and uh, it's very helpful 
from a study in the future as a future um, architecture designer. Uh, okay, thank you for listening. This is all my presentation for activity two. Thank you.